Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie, your intuitive reader. Today we're back again with another just one card oracle pull pick a card reading. Uh, today we're going to be finding out which animal spirit has a message for you at this time. But before we get started, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, guided meditations, crystals, etc., the link to my Etsy is down below. It would also help me out so much if you guys hit subscribe and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. I try to have a regular upload schedule of Tuesdays and Thursdays. So today we have six piles. We have pile one, two, three, four, five, and six. Take your time if you want to choose more than one pile or maybe just one, whatever uh, suits you. We're going to go ahead and get into the reading. All right, if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. Which animal spirit guide has a message for you today? We have the card of the snow leopard. This says self-reliance. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. Love it. So this card really is coming in uh, for as, as the reasons that I read here, but also, I feel that, you know, maybe you guys are really changing when it comes to like friends and connections in your life. Maybe certain friends are, you know, not necessarily aligning with you anymore or certain romantic partners and uh, spirit and especially the spirit of the snow leopard wants to remind you that, you know, now is actually a time for solitude. And the thing is, is a lot of us, when we think of solitude or being alone, it can often Often make us feel nervous anxious maybe even sad but the truth is is that solitude is honestly just as important as when we socialize and it seems um, you know there's gonna be a lot of certain messages coming through to you when you are alone and so uh, the snow leopard invites you to take a step back to go inward and to actually be more of an observer at this time in your life as in maybe just kind of look from afar and take time to change your perspective on certain connections uh, beliefs issues in your life but for the vast majority of you it's going to be uh, revolving around connections Spir uh, this particular spirit guide of the snow leopard wants to remind you that um, there's going to be a lot of wonderful soul connections coming to you okay but that now is the time to not necessarily focus on that that these beautiful connections that are coming to you will come when the time is right now is actually not the right time. Now is a time to really focus on your independence and being self-reliant. I feel that for pile one here, some of you guys might have, um, which is very common by the way, so don't feel ashamed about this, right? We're all living the human experience. Some of you may have uh, really tried to use external means such as other people to be happy, as in you relied on somebody else to make you happy and the snow leopard is saying you know you have all this beauty and this love and this wisdom within you um, and with the use your intuition um, I do think that like I said with connections if there are any connections that are changing and ending just use your intuition call upon the spirit of the snow leopard and you're gonna see in the snow leopard's eyes through the snow leopard's eyes and your higher self's eyes if this connection this instance is not working out for you anymore um, but yes now is a time for definite observation and really changing perspective and thinking of things in a different way okay so that's the message for you guys pile number one thank you so much all right if you chose a pile number two this is your message of which animal spirit guide has a message for you now we have the animal spirit guide of the wolf beautiful it says pathfinder release your past and start a new journey you are a teacher and help others find their way there will be challenges but your soul is strong perseverance is your secret power you have a love that endures i love it so um with the wolf the first thing that's really coming through for you guys aside from everything we just read is you guys have been through a lot but the thing is is that 
everything that you've been through in this lifetime and in past lifetimes has really gained you such experience and just a higher dimensional perspective. Um, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but you are an excellent teacher. Um, people probably do come to you or even if they don't come to you, they definitely value your opinion. They're definitely, you know, like, okay, what does pile two think about this? What does pile two um, doing. They look at you as somebody who is very mature, somebody who really has been able to navigate um, certain pathways. And the thing is, is most people, if not almost all people who um, inhabit and embody that type of energy are people that have been through a lot. And I, I say a lot in the sense of trauma. Um, really not only just trauma but experiences so you're probably very old soul um, pile too the wolf does want to remind you though that maybe you are a little bit focusing more on your past right now and if you are focusing on elements of the past there's nothing to be ashamed of about that but if you're focusing so much of your energy on you know a memory and instead of just visiting that memory you find yourself living in you know things that have already happened the wolf spirit um, invites you to walk away from that and find a new path because while the past is important it is not the most important right because the most important is the present moment I also am seeing that, yeah, perseverance is your secret power. So again, the way that you have been able to endure a lot of these um, traumas you've been through is beautiful. You have this love, you know, even after having all, some of you have probably had quite traumatic past, some of you maybe not as much, but know that through, you know, all of this that has happened in your, in your life, whether it be abuse, whether it be uh elements of grief or I mean the list can go on and on you have this love this beautiful love that endures within your heart and that's what makes you so attractive to people that's why people look up to you that's why people see you as a teacher because you just have this love that emanates from you with the teacher thing as well this is a side note but for any of you wondering about a career path this is just random um, teaching would be good and don't think of teaching just in the sense of teacher classroom type of situation uh, really I mean you could say what I do on my channel or in my Etsy shop could classify as some sort of teaching right teaching people about themselves that's still a form of teaching so think of it in that way and think of know that you have this gift to teach others particular things okay and the wolf wants to remind you of that Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, pile number two, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. All right, pile number three. This is your animal spirit guide that has a message for you right now. We have the spirit of the lynx. Wonderful. So cute. Uh, keeper of secrets. It says, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. This is actually very similar to pile number one. Um, so maybe you want to check out that pile as well, just because I see a lot of similarities. Uh, don't have to, though. With pile three here with the links, okay, now is a time for observation. Now is a time to take a moment to pause and to go inward, change your perspective, and look at things in a different light, okay? So I think pile three, you are people that are very intuitive, and you got you got to understand that, you know, not everyone is as intuitive as you, so sometimes, you know, you feel feel certain things and other people are like uh what like I don't see that follow your intuition okay your intuition never lies if everyone was really in tune with their intuition uh they there would really be no no deceiving because people would know but the thing is is as humans you know a lot of times we uh trust our um brain and our hearts which are not technically our uh, intuition right so um pile three I think it's best for you guys to use your intuition right now and observe a certain situation. So it looks like um, maybe there is something happening in your life where you need to make a choice or uh, where you need to maybe take a new path or go back to something. Before you make any type of decision, even if you don't feel like you have any type of decision right now, there might be one coming up. Make sure you're going inward and really looking at what you have here and not just viewing it from 
you know, your third dimensional perspective and not viewing it in the eyes of other people or society, but rather viewing it in the eyes of your, your higher self and the spirit of the links. Um, I also see here that, you know, there are certain things that are hidden from you now. I will point that out. Uh, and the thing you got to understand about divine timing, okay? You have put in place this timing and there are certain things, whether it be, you know, connections, whether it be psychic gifts that be uncovered. I mean, it could be anything. There's a reason why they are still hidden now. Um, it's because now, again, is not the time for them to be uncovered. But know that these secrets, when the time is right, these I, I think for a lot of you, it's going to be um, deepening of your psychic abilities. It's going to be uncovered. For others of you, it's going to be other things, though. And um, you're going to come to terms with with those things. You're going to you're going to discover them in due time. Uh, let's see what else I see here. Right. So it is a time. Sorry, I'm shaking here. It is a time to definitely be by yourself as well. Solitude is key right now. So when I say like take time, don't be like, don't take time and ask your mom or ask your dad or ask your best friend. Now is a time to really just sit with you and the spirit of your higher self and the spirit of the links to um, decide or look into something deeper like we talked about. Now is definitely not the time to necessarily be on Google and like search something and be like, okay, what, what about this? What about that? And now is not the time to look up a pick a card reading and be like, how does he feel about me? How does she feel about, you know what I mean? If that's the case, it's about going inward. It's about your own perspective. And that happens in solitude. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Pile number three. Thank you so much for watching. All right, pile number four, this is your message. Which animal spirit guide has a message for you today? Ooh, beautiful. We have the spirit guide of the bee with community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. I love it. So interesting, a lot of the piles had to do with going inward and being in solitude. Your pile though, pile four, is actually the opposite. Your pile is about um, community. Your pile is about connecting with your soul tribe, connecting with people in your life. So I think a lot of you, maybe you have found members of your soul tribe, maybe you have not yet. Either way, now is actually a time in which the bee wants you to embody its archetype. It wants you to work together with other people to maybe solve certain issues or to create Okay, other people being friends, family members, maybe a romantic partner, maybe uh, people at work. Okay, but I do see also abundance coming in for you with this card. Okay, so a lot of abundance, um, abundance in the form of I think love, just feeling love, abundance possibly in the form of actual you know money and objects and things like that. But for the the, the majority of you, this is abundance felt in the heart chakra. This is the abundance of love coming in. Um, the bee also wants you to remember that you have this beautiful ability to create. Think of like a bee, you know, how they create their hives together and it's such a beautiful community. Um, you have this ability to create your life, okay? Now, that's to say there are elements of your reality that you can control and there are elements of your reality that you cannot control, okay? Well, I shouldn't say your reality, things that intertwine in your reality because your reality you can control. But for example, elements of your reality that intertwine other people's reality. So what somebody else thinks of you, what somebody says to you, what somebody else does, what somebody else believes, that's somebody else's reality, but it may intertwine with yours. And know that you can only control your reality and what you think, what you feel, what you say, what you do. You can't control what somebody else does, okay? And trying to focus on that, controlling somebody else, or even just trying to change somebody else um, is never the way to feeling um, fulfilled, never the way to feeling this love energy, okay? because that's focusing on things we can't control, okay? Um, I also say, yeah, be open to receiving sweetness. Uh, the B also wants you to be a little bit more in a positive headspace at this time. Uh, just be grateful and appreciate 
um, be in that love and light energy and there's going to be a lot coming to you okay particularly in the form of connections I do feel uh, whether that be you know like I said um, romantic connections or platonic connections either way it looks like some soulmate or soul bond type energies will be entering your reality okay so that is your message today pile number four i hope you enjoyed all right this is pile number five this is your animal spirit that has a message for you today Oh, I love the penguin. We have the penguin. It says authentic. Reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations and just be yourself. Beautiful. So with the penguin, very similar to the previous pile. Um, this is about really uh, reaching out to those people that um, love you. Reaching out to those people that have an equal energetic exchange in your connection, you know, whether that be family members, friends, uh, a partner, work people, uh, there are definite uh, people that love you, okay? There are definitely people in your life that are part of your soul tribe, I will say that, but it looks like now is not the time to just be alone. Now is not the time to just, you know, sit by yourself and think about things. Now is actually the time to be a little bit more social and to connect to other people, okay? Um, I also feel this connection about family. Remember that family is um, is not always, you know, blood family. Family can be just people that you have grown up with that you feel so connected to, whatever family means for you, okay? I also want to say with the penguin, yeah, love your uniqueness. So maybe pile five sometimes you might feel a little self-conscious or you're like, why don't I like these things that other people like? Why do these other people not get me and, and things like that? And the thing is, is that you are your own person. You are beautiful. You are authentic. You are unique. You are everything, okay? And just know love what makes you unique we all have our own experiences we all look a certain way we all act a certain way and there's nothing wrong with it okay everyone is different know that you are beautiful i also feel you are full of surprises yeah like you know i think also in general there's going to be a lot of surprises for you guys coming up i think there's a lot of things um when you break free see this break free from others expectations um, I think maybe sometimes pile five, you really do tend to focus on what other people think. I will say that whether that be your family members, whether that be, you know, your uh, other people, your work and yada, 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 whoever it may be. Sometimes I think you have this tendency to be like, OK, well, I hope this person thinks this way of me. And I wonder what this person thinks this way of me. And the thing is, is know that whatever somebody else thinks of you, it doesn't matter because you can't control it. OK, and whether they think something positive of you or negative of you, it honestly doesn't matter because it's not part of your reality. Sometimes that those their reality will intertwine with your reality, but that's not your truth. Your truth is your truth. OK. And just be yourself. Now is not the time like to, to try to fit in. OK, like maybe in the past you've tried to fit in and, you know, dress a certain way, be a certain way. What's what's socially acceptable and things like that. The penguin wants to remind you of beautiful love that exists within you and the most love shines bright through you when you are yourself, when you dress the way you want to dress, when you uh, look the way you want to look, when you study what you want to study, when you live where you want to live and you don't give an F, okay? Like that is what the penguin is reminding you of as well. So that is the message of the penguin. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye. All right, and finally, last but not least, pile number six. This is the animal spirit that has a message for you. Beautiful. You have the message of the heron with patience. It says, create a place in nature stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Oh, I love it. So many piles had to do with patience today. Um, with this card, the heron wants you to go out into nature, okay? Um, in the Northern Hemisphere, anyway, it's summer right now. It's a great time to go outside. Um, but even if it's, you know, cold where you're at or if it's like blistering hot where you're at, even if you're able to just go outside for a short amount of time, you know, sit in the shade, um, 
just for a short amount of time as far away from uh, really, I want to say, the city or the town that you can. Even if you're in the middle of the city, if you can find a park with just some grass and like a tree, that works, okay? Just find yourself in nature. The heron invites you to really just sit down, you know, maybe put a blanket on the ground, sit down, close your eyes, and just be in the moment, okay? Because it looks like you guys are definitely energetically busy right now and you need some grounding. I also feel that, you know, there are definite things that are on the horizon for you, whether that be connections, abundance with finance, you know, new jobs, new opportunities, they're on the horizon, but you have to be patient. The heron is coming through and he's reminding you of divine timing. He's reminding you that the reason why said thing or said person is not happening right now is because it is not aligning to you right now. And that's okay. Just just relax, find patience. I think for pile six, it would be great for you guys to spend a little less time uh, with technology, which like if you're watching this, you're using technology, I'm using technology, there's nothing wrong with technology, but it is good to be kind of unplugged once in a while. And the heron wants you to do that. So literally, even if you can't do that, you know, for a whole day, even if you can do it for a couple hours, the heron would think that is beautiful. Spirit would love that, okay? I think also there's gonna be a lot of messages coming through to you when you really do quiet the chatter in your mind and look inward. I think too, um, if there is something to act on right now, the heron is reminding you to just wait and be patient. It can be a number of things, like for instance, messaging somebody, taking this certain uh, job, answering something, um, moving. Now is the time to really, if you're wondering about it, now is the time to wait and be patient um, and to really do as what I said, going out into nature and really focusing from a higher dimensional way. Um, a higher dimensional perspective because I think that sometimes when we're in this very physical reality it kind of muddles our vision and we can't really see things for the way that they are um, there is a need for just really grounding that energy and you're going to feel I feel like a lot of you have probably been feeling overworked maybe like fatigued tired stressed out and just going and like I said sitting in the park or if you're able to go to the woods or a lake or the mountains or a desert or whatever you know as long as remember of course take proper care of yourself make sure you have enough water make sure you know where you're going but if you're able to do that you're going to really really you know what, you might even see a heron. You know, that's interesting because I see a lot of herons, okay, in where I live. Uh, I just see them all the time. And I wonder if that might be a spirit guide message for me as well because I see the heron like crazy. But um, definitely pay attention to the nature you're in. Look at the animals that are around or if there's no animals, the plants, what the weather's doing. And you're just going to feel such a recharge and renewal. Okay, so that's the message I have for you, pile number six. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.